chapter 8 has four lessons. However, I will skip one of the lessons because it's too difficult to demonstrate 3D drawings. And I'm fairly sure most schools will skip this lesson as well. So we will be only doing lessons 1, 3, and 4. And I shall begin with lesson 1. So in lesson 1, it's about volume of solids. So we're moving away from two-dimensional drawing and we're now going into three-dimensional drawings. Okay, so um, a cube would be that. So this is equivalent to one cubic unit. So if there's no unit of measurement on the side, then the generic term for it is a cubic unit. So this first lesson just pretty much requires the kids to be able to count the cubes. However, some of the cubes are a little hidden, so they have to make sure that they're able to see or visualize the hidden cubes. Okay, so um, for these exercises, as much as I'd like to draw 3D, um, it's very difficult for me to draw the 3D figure, so I shall just be discussing how to go about the problems. So these are on page 150. Okay, so um, in page 150, there are four problems in 2A. Okay, so or four figures in problem 2A. I shall be discussing only A and C. Okay, so um, the questions would say, find the volume of each solid. Okay, so then it asks a succeeding question, which we can't do because we're not doing every item in the problem. Okay, so here in A, there's technically four cubes. Okay, so the first question says, the number of unit cubes equals, so... Okay, so since there are four cubes, the number of unit cubes is four, which means the volume will be four cubic units. Because one cube is equivalent to one cubic unit. Okay, if we look at letter C, it also asks the same thing, number of unit cubes. Okay, so if we count the number of unit cubes, there are nine of those, which means the volume of the figure, the solid, is nine cubic units. Okay, so this is a fairly simple lesson. All the kids have to do is be able to count again the number of cubes. Just be careful, some of the cubes are hidden. So they have to be able to visualize that there's something there that's hidden. That concludes lesson one of chapter eight. See you in the next lesson.